I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Hello, I'm going to um, try to do this this take in several parts. Um, I'm having, for some reason, I'm having a uh, computer issue. My computer is periodically crashing, and I don't want to lose. This is the third take, and I don't want to lose it all. So I'm going to stop it and then start the capture again in bits. Um, what I'm going to talk about today um, is um, well, really, really disturbing. Um, it, it, it actually bothers me a lot. Um, and I'm going to try to keep it from going too much, too tasteless, because it's not, that's not my intention. But with the subject matter, it's hard not to. Um, so today, um, I've been re following this news story. Um, this is very, uh, this news story was about the, the abduction, murder, rape, and torture of an eight-year-old girl named Deborah Cantu. Um, in California, this, uh, this this just surfaced this past week. Um, apparently, she had been missing for two weeks. I'll put a link up in the store in the um, in the sidebar. Um, but she um, she had been missing, and they they found her body stuffed in a suitcase in a pond um, two weeks later. And um, you know the, the 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 autopsy report is still pending; hasn't been released. Um, but they are saying that it was a sexual assault and murder um, but the really really sort of disturbing thing about this case is that the um, they've arrested a perpetrator um, and it turned at least the alleged perpetrator um, is a 26 year old woman um, named Melissa Huckabee and um, the, the the reason that it's sort of I guess surprising is is that um, the surprising aspect of it is is that female pedophiles, especially female pedophile murderers, are so statistically rare as to be um, they're practically non-existent. Um, so this was, was really shocking on that front. Um, but what I find the, the, this, that's not really what I wanted to focus on. Um, I'll, this is extremely disturbing to me. Um, I followed this case, the abduction in the beginning, simply I have an eight, the, the eight-year-old caught my attention because I have an eight-year-old an eight-year-old child, and I can't begin to imagine this kind of horror. Okay, I mean, it. I, I couldn't... My brain won't let me think about anything wrong, bad happening to my little boy without me... It, it would kill me. I could not survive this. I'm not strong enough. I know that for a fact. Um, but I've been following this case... And, oh, okay, sorry for the pause there. I uh, saved what I had recorded already, so... If I lose my computer again, I won't lose that. Um, but anyway, so what I've been finding, I guess what it, it uh, the reason I'm making this video um, is that I find it really, really shocking what people find shocking, I guess, is how to put it. Um, when you, okay, the fact that it was a female murderous pedophile, um, that should be the shocking part. In fact, it, you know, it, it is. It, it, and it, some of the news stories are kind of are focusing on that angle, especially when they talk about, you know, the police, what the, what the FBI or the police have stated about it, you know, that this is extremely rare. Um, but what I keep seeing it coming back to, um, and I, you, some of you probably know exactly where this is going, um, is that they, the, the news agencies, and I know they're vultures, but they're doing this crap where they're, in, you know, you know, you know, here, 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 this, you know, the bag boy at the grocery store where Melissa Huckabee used to shop, that kind of stuff. I mean, they're interviewing these people and asking them what they think about it because, you know, they're, you know, the expert opinion of local yokels is um, somehow of great importance. Um, but what they, what they're um, keep coming back to is the shock and awe because um, Melissa Huckabee, get this, was a fundamentalist Christian. Not only was she a fundamentalist Christian, she was a Sunday school teacher, um, the mother of a five-year-old. Um, she, she was a Sunday school teacher at her grandfather's church. She was a pastor. Um, so, so that's what it keeps coming back to, is this like, you know, like like that sort of like the the, the M. Night Shyamalan I'm making a joke from uh, King of the Hill. Um, but the, the twist, you know, that that's the big twist at the end of the story. She was a Christian, you know, 
But the thing is that 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 gets me about that is um, I would have been shocked if she hadn't been a Christian. And it's, I'm not saying that because Christians do this kind of thing. What I'm stating is, is that when this kind of thing happens, more often than not, in this country, the perpetrators are Christians. In fact, more often than not, the perpetrators are strong Christians or, you know, uh, very religious, deeply devout people. And that's not because, um, you know, obviously most Christians are, vast majority of Christians are very good and decent people. Um, that's not why, um, but what it has goes back to, I'm sure, is it, it has to do with, um, you know, overcompensation issues. Um, you know, these kinds of things, meaning somebody with a bad side might be attracted to highly moral things because it kind of, you know, as a contrast to their dark side, maybe to hide their dark side, or maybe it's out of some personal guilt thing. Um, but what it gets me about it is, is, um, is that people are shocked. I mean, you know, I would have been shocked if she had been an atheist. I would have been stunned simply because atheists historically don't do this kind of thing. Um, um, uh, or even another religion. And I think it's because Christianity, the reality is, I'm not knocking Christianity here. I'm, in this country, it's the dominant majority viewpoint, um, which makes it also attractive to people of a certain personality type because it's dominant. Um, but just also statistically, just randomly pick somebody in the country, chances are they're a Christian. So pick randomly somebody commits a crime, chances are they're a Christian just by this, for the same reasons not because Christianity leads to this kind of crime necessarily. All right, so the last thing I want to say about this, I'm running, getting short of time here, um, is I find it really, I, I'm really interested in finding out, um, you know, sort of as the details unfold with this case, um, because I, one of the things that, that you know, if you read, you know, about crimes like this, um, especially when there are women involved, more often than not, there's an accomplice um, they're doing it like their boyfriend's a perpetuator or their husband and they're they're going along with it or sometimes actively participating um, but it's it's you know it it's very rare for it to be a, a single woman um, involved in it um, acting alone um, and the police are sure that that's the case in there um, and I, I assume they have reasons we're not releasing why but they have reasons they're, they're not telling us why they believe that that's the case um, but what I um, you know so what what I expect is going to come out of this in the near future um, is that she either had an accomplice um, um, and I, you know that we don't know about um, or much, much, much more likely um, that she had an accomplice in a figurative sense and that this crime um, is really a continuation of something that happened to her, to Melissa Huckabee um, in her childhood. Um, and I think that that's going to come out, which I think is a great illustration of the horrible, horrible nature of sexual abuse um, because it's a crime that keeps on giving. Um, it keeps perpetuating itself generation after generation. Um, and I'm not positive that as a society, we're still not adequately addressing this issue and getting people the help they need. Um, I think it's really, really tragic. And I think this illustrates the tragedy, um, how messed up it leaves people. Um, anyway, it's all, it's horrible. Um, I don't know how much more I can even be thinking about this. Um, but it's a, it's terrible. And I want, um, you know, I just I'll I'll put a link up about about this case or about what what is involved in it. Um, you know, or I'll put a link up to the current I'm sorry current news stories about this case. Um, and I guess we'll see how it unfolds in the next few weeks. Uh, thank you and talk to you later. Bye.